And the second thing to understand about continuation betting is that against three or more opponents, so if you raise preflop and get three or more callers, you should not be continuation betting as a bluff. It's simply not going to work often enough to show profit in the long run. When you're firing as a bluff against three or more players, you're going to get called or raised a significant portion of the time, enough to where it's not going to be a good play for you in the long run. Against a single opponent, you should be continuation betting nearly all the time. So that tipping point, the inflection point where it goes from being profitable to continuation betting as a bluff to not being profitable occurs against two opponents. And against two opponents, sometimes it's going to be profitable to see bet as a bluff and sometimes it's not. And as a default, I'm basing that on board texture and position. So against two opponents specifically, on dry flops, I'm going to continuation bet as a bluff much of the time. Against two opponents on a coordinated flop, I'm often not going to continuation bet unless I am in position against those opponents and they check to me. And so we can actually design a chart that shows whether or not we're going to continuation bet as a bluff against two opponents based on position and board texture. If you're ready to become a better poker player, visit LearnWPT.com.